What's up, people? This is Denon with DenonTechHelp.com, and I'm coming to you with a video about uh, parental controls. It's a very important topic, especially for parents who have um, children that are using the computer um, constantly, and you don't necessarily have time to sit over their shoulder and make sure that every website that they go to is correct and uh, make sure that they get off the computer at the right times and all of that good stuff you know just the good parent stuff you know you don't have that you know that time to do that so this video is to pretty much just give you an overview of how to set up parental controls uh, for your Windows Vista system now mind you there's third-party applications that do this type of stuff but this comes right on the Windows Vista system and it's um, and it's pretty powerful so I'm gonna go ahead and go through it first of all here's the window here um, and here's the hierarchy of how it came up but I'll go ahead and show you how to um, pull it up um, when you're not you know not knowing here so if you go to the start and you go to control panel and from there you would go into parental controls and that brings you off into this window now uh, the parental controls um, you of course would be um, need to be an administrator set up as an administrator on the um, on the the computer if you have any questions about that just let me know I'm not going to get into that now but um, to and um, so once you are an administrator um, you are go ahead and um, access one of the standard users and I have one here which is my wife I'm gonna go go ahead and temporarily set up parental controls on that one so let me show you how this works first of all you would turn on the parental controls and that will go ahead and make everything else available and um, let me just go through this um, point by point um, some of the settings here that you have here is um, the web filtering, the time limits, games, and allow and block specific programs. And then you also have um, an option to uh, view the activity on the computer. Um, and then you also have some web restrictions, time limits, and things of that nature. So. So we'll go ahead and go into the window settings here, the web settings here. Now, now what what this will allow you to do is is is, is very um, is very uh, user friendly. So as you can see here, you can block some websites, um, or you can allow all websites, um, all website content, which I don't. Um, I don't recommend um, and then you also have uh, a setup where you can block um, content automatically where um, Windows Vista's list of you know questionable material would be blocked automatically from a list that they have but what you can do is go ahead and edit the allow and block um, blocked websites so say you don't want your um, your child to get on MySpace. So what you would do is you go ahead and put it in here. And then click on block. So that particular website they will not be able to go into. So um, that's a good way of of um, you know blocking a specific website that you know has questionable material now let's say on another note you want to set up the computer um, say you just want your your child to go to specific websites there's just like three websites that you want them to go to or, or what have you you set this web this here up with the website that you would like to allow 